Hello out there in SIGT land. I know you haven't seen me or heard from me in a while, but uh, I picked up a new toy today and I wanted to talk about it a little bit. It is a uh, SIG MPX. Uh, I always wanted an MP5. I'm kind of a subgun guy. Something about uh, the collapsible stocks of these weapons. Uh, just it's what I like. So I figure uh, with the cost of semi-automatic MP5 is outrageous. Uh, I figured I'd pick up this SIG MPX. So let's just get right into it. Uh, SIG MPX uh, 9mm weapon. Takes uh, these 30 round stick mags, uh, little banana mags. Uh, expensive right now because uh, SIG uh, uh, only contracted out to Lancer. Uh, hopefully Magpul will make these up in the future. Um, these are good mags. Um, they uh, nice metal feed lips, kind of uh, uh, like a Glock. But uh, so far they're pretty stout. I've already put uh, a few hundred rounds through this weapon, and uh, seems to be holding up pretty good. In fact, it's getting better with the age. Uh, I noticed a lot of uh, stiffness uh, in the bolt uh, when I got it. Uh, yeah, uh, but when I got it. Uh, everything was really stiff, uh, really oiled down, uh, they oiled the living piss out of it probably because uh, you know how some gun manufacturers maybe it might sit on a shelf for a while and they just didn't want it to rust up. I uh, got a little cheap sight mark on here too which seems to be doing pretty good also. Um, but uh, cost, uh, I spent $1,570 on this weapon. Uh, I know it's probably outlandish but uh, something I always wanted so I justified that cost. Um, negative so far, just off the off the bat. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but this upper piece right here, and uh, let me see if I can get in a little closer and see if you can see where the the break is right here. See the two different colors? It's like a blue and like a black. Uh, Sig did a very poor job of matching their colors on that. I wasn't very happy about that. The other big uh, thing I cannot stand is uh, this. I'm sure you heard it already, but listen. Oh, ear piercing. And that is because of their flash hider. Kind of Vietnam era style tricone flash hider type thing, but uh, harmonics. Wonderful. Nice little ear piercing thing. Hey, what's that? Is that you shooting a gun? No, that's me breaking your eardrums. So, there you go. Uh, breakdown, very similar to an AR-15. I'm not gonna go into the breakdown just because there's so many videos on the, the uh, MPX, the pistol version, that there's guys out there doing it. Um, I just really wanted to show you the C and what I'm seeing with the C, the carbine version. Um, the uh, other things I want to talk about is uh, just the controls, very AR-15 like. The nice thing is, is it's completely ambidextrous, front and back safety, front and back mag release, and uh, same thing, uh, bolt release, front and back. And uh, that's what I'm calling like the front, and this is the back of the weapon, uh, depending on what arm you're shooting with. So. Uh, so far it's a really highly accurate shooter. Um, I had issues uh, with the reloads that I made for this. I was just wanting to shoot some cheap lead out of it to see if it'd cycle. Uh, they weren't cycling. I was getting a lot of short strokes and it was causing the uh, uh, stove piping, uh, double feeding, and that type of stuff. Uh, because of the what they call the short stroke gas system, uh, there's just a small kind of uh, like plunger up in the top side of the gun like right here uh, that actually activates the bolt and the slide and it's very AR-15 like except it's way up here in the top not in the bolt in the bottom and they're not directing that gas all the way back but what I found is that was very dry uh, had a lot of crap in it uh, probably because of the amount of oil they probably shoved in there to begin with and then the crap got up in there it sucked up with the oil, mixed it and made it so that it was very hard to cycle 
I cleaned that up and it seemed to do phenomenal. I've already put uh, probably about uh, 60 to 90 rounds through this with my reloads. Same thing, nothing changed with my reloads and it cycled them flawlessly. So we'll see in the future about that, exactly how bad uh, that problem persists. They give you these nice uh, flip up sights. Uh, they're pretty good. Uh, they're flip up sights, you know. Uh, I always run to, wanted to run it with the optic. Man, every little thing I do to this gun that makes that harmonic. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, but that harmonic sound, which I wish Sig would stop. I mean, seriously, like take that damn thing off. Sad thing is, is I can't take it off because I'll show you a quick little breakdown process of this, which is pretty cool. Uh, But for changing shrouds and stuff like that, you just pull the pins out. Let's see, I don't want you to come out yet. Uh, check this out. Just pull the pin off the gun and then you just slide your shroud right off. Oh, and there it goes. But if you can see, that son of a bitch has been pinned on and ground off. Because uh, this right here, from here, to here is not 16 inches. From here to here it is. And that's probably because of the whole uh, suppressor thing they were trying to do. They were trying to cut it back to here, put this suppressor baffling on here, and then uh, sell you a shroud later to make it a suppressor. Well, any idiot knows, uh, I'll just put a tube on it and now I've got a suppressor. So uh, the bat fags decided, no, nope, we're gonna confiscate all those. And uh, there you go. Now you're left with, uh, oh, my piano's tuned. All right, cool. So at least uh, you got some way to let all your friends know that, hey, look, uh, I'm shooting an MPX now. But what uh, I ended up doing is uh, just taking a little bit of tape. Uh, I've got this stuff uh, I got a while back because I wanted to shoot coyotes. It's called uh, Camel Form. I picked it up at a gun show. It uh, doesn't adhere to any of the metal, it just adheres to the uh, itself, uh, kind of like a medical tape. But uh, I just wrapped it around there, grabbed a, a zip tie, and you know, at least it makes the ring go away. And I just uh, take a little bit of the tape off. I just pulled off the tape I had on there because it does get all burnt up because you are firing. Uh, hot lead down the barrels and stuff like that and I just go right over those front prongs and uh, actually eventually the amount of rounds you shoot will end up blowing right through that and that's what the, the zip tie is for here uh, I'll probably end up fixing this a little bit better uh, in the future uh, making something a little bit more permanent not so janky looking as this but uh, for the time being, while I'm testing everything out, I just, I just don't want to hear the uh, the uh, harmonic resonance of the Sig Sauer. You know, I might have to tune a guitar or something to that. But, see, I just wrap that stuff around there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to get it to deaden the sound. And then I get one of my little zip ties from over here. I'll use a bigger one. And this way, I'll wrap that around there. see and what ends up happening is is the little valleys that are in here uh, they end up getting blown out but like I said this is just temporary so we cut that off and we run the gun like that like I said it looks janky but uh, at least we don't hear the sweet Hopefully so. And the fact that this suppressor comes, or not the suppressor, the uh, the fact that this uh, forearm comes off so damn easy, uh, I like that. Uh, I can't wait till these guns become more popular. Hopefully they will. The price will drop and people will appreciate them for what they are because they're such sweet shooting weapons. Uh, we'll start seeing more accessories uh, like Magpul. Make some of these. I don't want to pay fucking $70 for a magazine. 
I know I did, but a lot of you guys don't want to. Uh, that's pretty much it for my uh, little uh, sit-down tutorial. Hopefully this will get some hits because there's not a lot out there. Um, uh, so far I like the weapon. It's a wonderful weapon. I give it a thumbs up. Good job, SIG. Uh, 9mm dedicated uh, MP5 AR-15 crossover. Uh, really enjoying this. Uh, hopefully in the future, like I said, we see some more forearms, cheaper mags, a better barrel with the fucking harmonic bullshit removed, and maybe you can fix your bluing job here. Come on, SIG, dude. I mean, seriously. Uh, why not the colors match? Uh, you guys should have this by now. But, uh, cool. And uh, that's it. Randy, SIGT out.